When you guys are ready, feel free to tell me about where you guys are at right now. All right. Shout out to my inhalers. Um, so our challenge problem is to explain the survival rate statistics and their diagnosis at a fourth grade level so people can understand without having to go through all the medical terms. And so, so what so far have we learned about our common cancer? Um, so we learned that it usually occurs in bone and soft tissue, um, like muscles, um, fat, and nerves. Um, it's usually caught early. Um, We've caught early in the early stages um, with a survival rate of 81% in the first five years. Um, so recently we talked to some patients who have had cancer and we found that they really wanted to understand the important information about their illness and they will a lot of them took along a person to go with them because they usually didn't remember important information. And one of the patients avoided Googling about the illness because it was like too much information. And then the other patient that we talked to found it comforting, almost as like a coping strategy to um, research about the illness. So this is how we plan to incorporate some feedback. So in the future, uh, we hope to interview doctors and patients. Shauna actually reached out to her mom, so we can actually connect to doctors and hopefully take some time to connect with the patients. Or we could possibly talk to the patients that we've already heard from in this class. But we actually need them so they can provide feedback on um, our website and also on other websites that we found that are similar to our own. Um, and we also want them to get their experience onto the website so that we can hear firsthand from them about what they experience so that other people can learn uh, from those people. And then we also want to have their experiences on the prototype website. And we are trying our best to prioritize talking to patients if we can't get in contact with those doctors. So our idea is a website where patients can go to find Q&As with doctors. They will have links of like counselors and doctors where they can reach out and talk one on one. Also patients like patient experiences on the website and then other information that would be useful. So um, here is where we want to incorporate into our cancer care website. So counseling, so <clears throat> connecting um, each of the patients to counselors, um, resource navigation, support groups, education workshops, and publications. Um, financial assistance, community programs, and specialized programs. And so. Oh. Like I say, um, and as for information that we got from the cancer centers, we did actually end up reaching out to um, everyone on our list. Unfortunately, none of them were able to get back to me um, for a multitude of reasons. Some of the reasons being for the Mayo Clinic that it was against their policy for like, people to come in and do research or ask questions about things that they actually do there, um, which was pretty unfortunate for us. Um, and also, too, I didn't call at the right time, meaning that some of these hospitals were in different uh, states, so different time zones. So when I called, it was like 8 a.m., it was actually 6 a.m. somewhere else, um, and I just couldn't find the time to call it again. Um, but we did end up calling a lot of people, and when we called them, we were often sent to um, like multiple lines, and then when we did get to the information center um, line, no one was actually there to talk to us about it. And so it was awesome, like, leave your message, just someone will get back to you and they'll get back to us. Um, so there isn't a lot of transparency about how information is given or um, shared with patients. Is that it? Okay, that's it. All right, okay. Interesting. So, uh, oh, sorry. No worries. Uh, Bri, I love that. You brought that at the end because you got to experience what it is like to be a patient at a lot of these different places. Uh, however, theoretically, uh, patients are going to be connected with a provider, right? Their doctor. And they could theoretically talk to them. So, what? Hmm. 
I'll, I'll back up for a second. Uh, go, to your, go to your website, your first slide. So this is an example of a different website, or is this a mock-up you guys made for your website? No. So this is an example of a website um, that we found. Okay. There are lots of these different websites, and all of them have already incorporated what we wanted to incorporate into our website. Um, and so that's where we have to think about what areas require reinvention or intervention in a way so we can kind of like improve these websites. So we'll, make, we'll make our websites stand out when we see what's in there. And what, can you talk through what you guys are going to do with Switchroom specifically? I have notes. They're not, they're not on here. Okay. Like, we took notes yesterday. Um, So are you imagining this is a website for all cancers? Or is this a website that is specific to JK Mitchie's patient population? Hmm. We haven't thought about that yet. Okay. Because what I'm hearing is a massive undertaking to try to create a better version of what already exists, these big, broad cancer support websites that you have already linked and showed. Um, but keep in mind, you are coming, you are going to talk to two people who work in a specific clinic with a specific patient population who could give these patients something to help them out. And what is the big thing that both of the two patients did first that we talked to when they found out or thought that they were going to have cancer. But what did they Google in particular? The statistics for sarcoma. On, yeah. on death. How long am I going to live? Right? That's Sorry. the big fundamental question. And those are two things that neither of their physicians talked about with them. Mm -hmm. um, so I would keep that in mind while you're putting this together. I love these ideas of like, you know, chat with a physician or, you know, are there support groups you know that I that I could get access to? Are there counselors I could be connected to? You guys are really like thinking about the full experience. Like could we have a, a website you get that has everything you might need so you can avoid Google, right? That's what you're kind of thinking of. Are you gonna be able to do that for all can like, are you gonna find publications for all cancers? Are you gonna find, you know I was because I was reading um, one of my notes and I was like, that doesn't make sense. Like cancer doesn't make sense. That doesn't make any sense. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. So now that I think about it, it doesn't make sense to all different things cancer that doesn't make sense. That's a lot of time, like it's a lot of effort and it's a lot of type of disease or it's a lot of type of cancer Yeah. I mean we could probably bring up the fact that they can go into it like more of an so we can just like on their own, but like we're just like, you know with the challenge with the sarcoma. Right. Especially because sarcoma is so rare and it's a very new disease. I feel like it would be, it would be like counterproductive kind of to give our energy to other diseases that have a lot more attention rather than we give our attention to the sarcoma. And, and Jacob mentioned wouldn't be able to necessarily use that. Yeah. Right? 
talking about in particular. So what I want you guys to think about is what, like, what is, what do you need? I, I will be honest, it sounds unlikely that you will build a fully functional website and then test it with former cancer patients all in the next eight days, right? That's probably a lot to do. Have any of you ever built a website before? Kind of. So that's a lot. That's a big toll or a big uh, a task to take on. However, you you guys could have a unique website design with some examples of videos or things like that that you could show Jake and Michi that would be like a prototype for them, right? Where they would see what your vision is and see what would be different about it. And they, if they wanted to keep going with it, they could talk to you guys about it. Or they could even say, oh, let's take that back and we'll give it to some people that will hire and they'll go for that for us, right? It's gonna take a lot more than a week to make a website. But you guys could put something together right now that could really help you have something to show them about your vision. Are you thinking about videos for different sections? Are you thinking about, like, what do you think about building in this website? Um, I was thinking like, you know, okay, so like, all of our, she's like, I'm gonna give him the whole night story, she's like, I But like, it's just a thing of like, just like 60 second like, education video, but when you watch it, it really builds your attention, and you get the gist of it, and just like that. So I was thinking maybe like, you could do explanation videos, you can have like, nice, fun like, graphics or whatever. I mean, sarcoma isn't fun, but like, you might as well, yeah. yeah. Everything else is serious. So you want to just like put our own twist on it. And then like make it simple because in theory we're we're doing this as if we're talking to younger students and that's how you get younger students intrigued and that's how a lot of people learn. A lot of people learn from getting like videos and stuff like that. Right. I'm, I'm, what I'm hearing is you guys, your goal is that people don't need to go on to find stuff out. So you can give them resources, information, all that kind of stuff. But I'm hearing a couple different things, right? There's this like patient-centered navigation portal where they can go and click through publications and find counselors and all that. I'm also hearing about like TikTok videos, which is really interesting. And Jake like specifically mentioned social media as like, you guys know more about this than we do. Maybe there are new ways we could do this. Is there, like let's let's take a step back and this might be a stressful thing about it, but imagine that you are in Campbell's position and you find out you have cancer. Honestly, what is I, and I'm curious like what are you what are you going to do to try to find out more about it? Are you gonna go to TikTok? Are, and then like fully non-judgmental, like what are you gonna do to try to like I would love to know, be honest. Because because Mr. Sims was like, don't Google, don't Google. And then I was like, what was the first thing you did? And he was like, I Googled how long am I going to live. So let's be like real. What would be the first thing you guys would do? Google. I never say it was I never say it has to be something new. It's not like something new. Like, yeah. I feel like TikTok would be like one of the last places I'd go. But like, it would be a place I'd go. Because TikTok is going to be like, I know that doesn't sound like realistic, but like, there is a lot of stuff on there. There's like a lot of doctors that talk about it and stuff like that. So I feel like Googling it, definitely. But I don't, Googling. I'm trying to figure Googling. out a way. You, so I'm trying to figure out a way to get to the access to videos without Googling it. Well, they could be provided the videos. Like if the doctors knew about the videos, we could, yeah. Like, they could inform okay. the patients that they're in this, the resource or whatever. Like doctors, so you get, have you guys ever, uh, uh, where you've been pretty open about Having a recent uh, hospital stay, yeah. uh, you have a my chart, I assume. Yeah. So when your doctor sent you home, did you have the ability to access information from them through my chart? Yeah. Yeah. So you know, like that's what they're doing. They're setting up the, my chart is like this program that you have. So stay, stay with us, guys. My chart is a program you have where you can message with your doctor back and forth directly and they can kind of give you materials to, to take home and to understand. You can look up your, uh, your test results and all these kind of things. But my chart is tough because doctors are really busy, they're not always available. But that's a venue where you could send someone something. Maybe it's a link to a website. Here, check this website out for all your stuff. 
Maybe it's a link to a TikTok account. Maybe it's a link to a, you know, a YouTube account. Maybe it's a link to something you guys haven't thought of. But you can give them that thing, right? The patient can get access to whatever it is. And one of the things I'm hearing here is that you're talking about, by building a website, you guys are talking about a huge undertaking that would be immensely challenging, uh, that would take a lot of time and honestly not feel super creative. But you want, if I'm hearing, I want to be able to give them access to counselors and support groups in the area, right? I want to give them information so they don't have to go Googling. I want to be able to provide them uh, with connection to doctors. Could you give them information in a video format that would be helpful for them? Could you like tell them how to find counselors? Could you tell them how to understand survival statistics? I'm, I'm worried that you guys are gonna bite off such a big thing that it just won't even get done and you won't realize it until you're two days away from the presentation that it's gonna be like really challenging. Does that make sense? Yeah. I had another group that was like, we're gonna make a video and an animation. Three of us have, we have like ex ex tons of animation experience. Great. You guys are like, we wanna make a website. Anyone have website making experience? Brie goes like this, you know, like that's, that's where we're at. Uh, are there other things you guys could do that feel more in your strengths? Like lean into your strengths, not what you think the doctors want to see. What are your strengths in creating these things? Tell me right now. What do you guys feel like are your strengths as a group? What have you done? What have you made? What do you like making? I've created brochures and stuff before. I've done graphics before. So you've got infographics. So you have kind of like graphic design work. Uh, what other things do you guys create? I mean, Ava makes art. John, do you make TikToks? Yeah. I'm very good at making TikToks. Okay. I wow. That's a that's a bold, confident claim. Bree, what do you make to like? What are things you've created? Not just school. Not just school. Right. What are things you've created? Guys, I'm so I'm so tired. I'm so sorry. That's okay. What are the things that you've like created and made before? What kind of venues do you make things in? Maybe that's not what you're doing here, right? That I'm just trying to figure out. Well, for me, it's more so skill set stuff. I don't really make things. I just pull things out of people. So I'm good for like interviewing people. I'm good for um, explaining complex things in a pretty like simple way. Um, I'm good at creating um, visual pieces of information for people to digest. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Right now, together, this group has not been as talkative. You guys had this like spark yesterday, finally, but like you guys have not been as talkative. I want to hear from you guys. Like, what do you guys think you could actually make together that could be delivered in some way over the next whole stretch of time? I'm very informative media. Mm -hmm. Okay. We could do. One of us could give out like the basic information about sarcoma, um, kind of like what happens in the body, whatever, and then the things that they could do, things that patients can do to be supported. So like the various websites, so like various websites on the screen, um, doctors they can be connected with, or maybe we could get like we can get a patient and a doctor to talk about their experiences and make it like. Mm -hmm. It, like the video one part, so like one part is like the basic information, two parts is like support groups, other part is like whatever, stuff like that. I would say that, and then on TikTok, there's like playlists too that you can Yeah, like you can make like a playlist of certain stuff that they do, and then, I mean, yes. I mean, it can be made on TikTok, but that, we don't have to make a full TikTok page. We can just see if our information is good enough. Information that we're providing is good enough to be put out there. Because another thing is that we can't, like, we can't give like the wrong stuff. So like everything that we do, everything that we say has to be correct. Because if we give out the wrong information about sarcoma, not only are the patients going to be confused, but when we get up there and present, they're not going to get a problem. Well, could you, uh, could you guys? Well, so let me take a step back. Uh, would you all find it helpful if you were diagnosed? with cancer and your physician was like, if you'd like 
there's this TikTok account you could follow that provides really useful videos that I know are correct. No, you wouldn't look at those? Personally, I know there's this thing okay. um, called like a master class where it's like, it's like a 10 minute yeah. video about like these complex or different um, experiences that you can do with those from like, sure. Yeah. I like it's like it's a subscription that you have to pay. Right. You get the money off the hospital can pay for that. It's a hospital. I'm sure they can, but then again, there are all these different resources that they have, like, allocate their money to. Well, before before you get too specific, I want I want to note on that because honestly, I heard Jake mention social media, and I think a little bit he was like, "We got some teenagers. We can lean on their strengths and have them maybe look at making this a social media account." But what I'm hearing from you guys is that actually doesn't feel like a space that you would find useful for your information. I was going to say, like, it could be made on TikTok, but if somebody, if I was diagnosed with a disease and somebody said, well, you know, tell me to go on TikTok, I'll be very pissed. Because mm. that doesn't make sense. But why, I think why it not? should just be. Why not? Why doesn't that make sense? Because I feel like when people think of TikTok, they don't think as a, they think it at, they think of it as a way to get like general information about certain things. But when it comes to like a really deep sickness, and when you're in the mindset, when you're in the mind, when you have the mindset that you're like really sick, I feel like the first thing you want to do, first thing you don't want to do is go to TikTok. If that makes sense. Mm. And also, TikTok is associated with like fun things, right. yeah. like like it's searching yeah. out. I want I want I want to keep you guys just... away from thinking about what other people think of TikTok. This is what I'm hearing from you guys in particular about your own judgment of TikTok. You would be pissed, you said, if your doctor gave you TikTok. Don't don't get to I want you to stay right now in the space of like, imagine you are a patient. So you you are like, no, any of you two are like, no, we've never watched TikTok videos to learn about something. It doesn't feel serious. But like, so what I'm hearing actually is like there's a real need for it that you guys see to make sure that whatever source something is from would need to feel official for you guys as patients for you to want to look at it. Even if your doctor was like, check this thing out, you would still be like, I'm not taking it seriously unless it is this masterclass series or a website or a YouTube series or all that. I didn't, I didn't realize this is really helpful for me to know why I've been surprised no one has gone in this direction, but it makes sense that you're like, why I wouldn't want that. Like, why would you trust? Why would you trust TikTok? Which honestly, ninety nine percent of the time, great. That's a really good strategy to take. Um, so I'm hearing still, like, there's still a lot of space for that creative energy. Do you guys? Do you guys make videos besides Jana? Do you guys ever make videos? I mean, I make podcast episodes. Okay, so we've got some, we've got some recording. Like TikTok videos or just videos? Sure. Or any, any, any short form YouTube or TikTok, social media, anything, a reel if you're 40, you know, like what, what do you guys, do you guys make, uh, no, <laughs> no, definitely not real. Like edits. Okay, so I'm curious. I thought, I thought I was hearing a, a, a solution coming out, but it's clear you guys actually have like a very real and well thought out reason to not go for TikTok in particular. Do you see on this website a like this website idea that videos would be a crucial part of it? Yeah, yeah definitely. Okay, so what would that look like? Um, I think kind of like so they just say like a playlist or something, just like part one of, and it can be like three minutes. Part one can be three minutes. Part two can be two minutes. Part would, no. would you guys trust or uh, be more likely to want to go watch a YouTube channel that your physician linked to you? Yeah, yeah. That would yeah. feel much more in line with what you guys are thinking of. Yeah. Yes, but for me, only if that YouTube channel is associated with like a medical status. Yeah. So if it was like by like Cleveland Clinic. Yeah, right. Cleveland yeah. Clinic YouTube channel. Or by the like specific whatever the name of their clinic is. Or, yeah. You know. Or colleges. That are like, really, like, like Ohio State Medical. Like those are medical students. Yeah. Like, okay. So you would, but if it was like the the clinic that they had, their radio sarcoma lab or whatever, whatever it's called, if that had its own YouTube page, you would feel like, cool, I'll go watch some videos. Yeah. Also, okay. but like, even if, okay, it would be good if it was like a clinic um, that had its own YouTube channel, but like, if the doctor recommends it, then 
it's not just new values. Right. But if a doctor recommended a TikTok page to you guys, you would be like, who is this man and why is he going to blast me with radiation? You would not, you would not have been If a doctor, you know, if, uh, if, if she uh, suggests you guys to go on a YouTube uh, channel, a playlist that's curated by the lab or by the clinic, you'd be like, okay, cool, I'll check this out. This is, I'm genuinely like, this is really helpful for me to see because I'm hearing videos as a part of this. And instead of building this whole big thing around it where you're like, okay, how do we like, what's the banner gonna look like? And what are all the sections? And if you click on it, does the link work? And where does it go to? Um, you guys could focus on the playlist aspect and like, be like, you guys could create videos. I'm seeing you guys fading a little bit energy wise, but just this last little bit, how does that sound as a, as a direction? Yeah. I, this is your solution. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just trying to like hear and pick out from you guys what, like videos are a big part of this. Do you need the actual website to make that happen? Do you want to make the website? I do want to make the website. Okay. It's not Fight, no, no, no. Fight, fight for what you want to do, Jenna. You. I mean, I do. Like, it would be good, but then again, it's not as easy for us. John, I loved it. I was like, oh, you love TikTok. You can make TikToks. And you're like, no, 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 that wouldn't be good. Like, you should definitely, if you guys want to make a website, you guys should. I'm a little worried about the amount of work it will take to do a website and make some videos and do all this kind of thing. If you guys had more experience with a website, I would feel a little more comfortable with being like, yeah, go try it out and see what happens. Maybe, what if you guys designed a website? And you could, so, John, what if it was more like you had images to show a like website design, not like a website that worked? Yeah, that's what, that's what was also like brought up yesterday. Okay. Like, I think it was like three new ads, like, will be designing the website, or it could, or it could just be like a, a template or something. Right. Like, what might be on the website, or like, what it might look like. Okay, that would feel like totally possible for you guys to get done in this time. Could you guys make a template of a website and then make one or two like example videos to yeah. go along with things? Yeah. Is that kind of what you're looking at? Is that like a yeah. possibility? Because you were talking one point about okay, we'll get a prototype website and then have actual cancer patients try it and do all these things, and that is just not going to be possible with the amount of time you guys have. Yeah. Um, do you feel like you could design a template and make videos and kind of have just like some examples to show for it? Yeah. Does that feel exciting? Does that feel like something you guys would want to do? Because this is going to take some work over the next week and you guys are going to need to be interested in doing this for this to work out. Yeah, I'm interested. I'm honest. Like, I'm listening to everything. I'm just really excited. I know. I know, I know the energy is low. I, I hear you. That's why I'm asking out because this is also a group that's not the. Most of this group is not the loudest uh, people in the room most of the time. And so I'm trying to give space, like, would you guys want to, especially Allie and Ava, who are not the ones who are going to step forward and, and be vocal about being excited about something. Would you guys be excited about designing a website and making some example videos? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I think that's a really cool idea. Um, do you guys have, are you gonna make videos with your phones? You could go on camera. Do you guys need do you guys need like tripod, yeah. camera, yeah. mic, you wanna do that whole thing? Yeah. Okay, I'm starting to hear that it's I'm giving like, Megamon. It's giving what? Oh my gosh. No, wait, no, no, Megamon. The one that's better. I don't know. And digital arts. Oh, yeah, this one yes. coffee house. So you have experience filming and making and putting together stuff from digital arts and humanities, both of you guys. Yeah, great. This is helpful. You have your production experience. Right, Bruce? Is that true? Yeah. So, would you guys like to talk with Mr. Waitsman today about any of this? Yeah. I'm genuinely asking, is that a thing that would feel helpful for you guys? I think so. Okay, so, um, do you guys want to debrief and then try to do that? Or do you want to just start to plan out some of your ideas and then talk to him once you've got some ideas? Can we debrief? I only need to debrief yeah. where we left. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just like going over how we got to this point. 
Yeah. You want to you want to debrief and like you're gonna record it. Yes. Yeah. Just for the problem solving strategy. Yes, that's a good idea. That's why I'm recording all of these things for you to take spots out of. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, you guys should definitely debrief and talk through this and voice record or video record it. If you guys want, you can go down to the sunroom and do that. If that gives you a little quiet space to debrief in, so you can record it, because it's gonna not work out there. Yeah. If everyone's talking too much. Yeah. Um, but after you debrief. What do you guys want to do next? Get in contact, like start planning, and then get in contact with the people that we see in contact with. Who do you like? Like, just 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 or like other people? Are you just trying to figure out like, who you would get in contact around here? I, yeah, Mr. Ali here first. Okay. Um, Mr. Red Swedes are here first. Person for sure. And then we'll get everything. Okay, so you guys got to debrief, make a plan, and then maybe start figuring out what kind of videos and what sounds like you want to put together. Awesome. I'm so sorry. I know. Sorry. Yeah, this is a long one, but I'm, I'm excited to, to see what you guys come up with. I appreciate you guys being in there. Do you feel like you're ready to keep going? Mm-hmm. Okay. I need a nap. Because yeah, I just so, really so, have my face. Everybody, everybody, so everybody tired. needs a nap. Everybody needs a nap. Oh, well. Alright, so what I would say is go debrief down.